This is so tense. Game 1 and Game 2 have been spectacular by both players. I honestly don't know how Game 3 is going to go down because it's just been so amazing. And they've been long, really tough games for both of these two. And well, Overgrowth is going to be the host of Game number 3, spawning in the bottom left-hand position as the pink Zerg player. He won game number one. Can he do the same in game number three to take the series? It's Johnny Rico. And his opponent to the top right, the blue Zerg player. Coming back in game number two, up against very tough odds. Is he gonna be able to use that momentum to take game three and take the series? It's Lambo. Overgrowth, another of the new Season 2 maps. A very cool map, I might add. Natural base. Relatively wide. Although these pipes will be impassable, so the actual distance is only that wide. Third base. Of course, you've got two options. Uh, you can come a bit further out to take this third. Or you can come round to the left and take that third base. I suspect most players will take the third over here. It's a lot easier to take. Um... Just got to be careful of these rocks in the centre. Could lead to some problems from a lot of paths in, um, in order to allow a nice little concave to attack up into this area, where you obviously want to keep most of your army, if you are holding these two bases. In terms of strategy from these two, well they're starting off different builds. Rico went hatch pull, Lambo went pull hatch. Or, no, Lambo went hatch pull, Rico went pull hatch. So. This is already slight differences, but overall, the end position is the same if neither does anything crazy. And that's, they're going to have two bases up, two queens at each, and they're going to be trying to drone relatively decently. And they'll both, or Lambo at least, is going to be getting gun speed. So far, he's always kept one drone in the gas after getting speed down. So not a big commitment, but just a trickle through up to Lair. Whereas Rico has shown... A favoritism to going gasless which isn't a bad thing a lot of Zerg players are doing it now and overgrowth is quite a large map even though there are only the two spawn positions there's a long way to get across so big ling plays aren't gonna be huge and yeah it's it's gonna be all good for the early game in comes Rico though with these earlier lings it's one of the advantages of going pool first is you do get the quicker scout down. Nearly getting a drone kill there, but gonna have to back out from it. Meanwhile, back at home, the drone count's very similar. Rico got an early inject due to having a queen a bit sooner because of the spawning pool first. And that's what really levels out these two builds economically wise. Spine caller coming down though, as it is a gasless play yet again. Lambo sees the spine though, sees the queens getting pulled down and can likely deduce that this is a gasless play out of Rico at the moment. In response, Lambo has actually pulled all of the drones out of gas this time. This means that he's got fractionally more minerals per minute, meaning that he can get a few more drones out and opt to get a couple or maybe even opt to get a quick third base, which he's going to do pulling this drone. But Rico knows that this is a likely response, so keeps a Ling in position. This sees the drone coming. Gives Rico some good timing on everything that's coming through here. Forces two Lings to come over and acts as a delay. Rico can now go and try and take his own third super fast, or he can apply pressure. He's up to two gases, so can look to go up into Roaches super fast. Or he can go up to four gases and just go super fast mutants, but that's less likely because speed hasn't been started. Rico should start speed regardless, even if he is going up into roaches. Generally, you'll see that come down. And also, if he was going roaches, he should have already started placing it. But instead, going for a super fast lair, so he may actually go for a rush up into mutalisks with those four gases. Meanwhile, Lambo adding in an evolution chamber, second evolution chamber, and a roach one. Of course, this natural base relatively easy to wall off because of these two pipes. If those pipes weren't there, it would have been a massive 
problem in order to defend this natural because it would have been so wide but these pipes just make it easy to hold with that normal two evolution chamber and roach roll and wall off that so many zerg players are doing as we're seeing Rico do here just bring the two queens to just block that last little wedge couple of links coming in from Lambo now just to confirm or deny whether or not Rico's taken a third in response sees that he hasn't and what he's got to be concerned about now is that, well, no third base. Hang on a sec. That means pressure has to be incoming. Rico knew I was taking my third. So he's either going to try and deny that. Or he's going to try and out macro me. And the answer is just a straight up. He's going to try and deny it. Those are two getting pulled. So a third base coming through. So it isn't going to be an all in. It's just important to note that there are roaches out sooner and Rico will be looking to go on the offensive as opposed to just sitting back. But he has to do some damage with this or else problems do come through anyway. Rico just carries on this game and doesn't do any damage. Then he is behind economically. Lambo's up by a couple of drones. He's got his third base a lot sooner. Extra production from that third base sooner too. And that poses some difficulties. Both players are going for the 1-1 upgrade so they're both choosing that roach heavy style that we saw in game number one and that means that we're probably going to be seeing a lot of or well, there's two things we could be seeing. On the one hand we could be seeing a lot of passive play which we did early on in game number one neither wanting to engage. On the other hand we could be seeing a lot of multi prong attacks, a lot of harassment, a lot of poking and prodding and positional play which we also saw in game number one but at later stages. Rico looks happy to be the first aggressor though, but it's worth noting he's down in army supply. Lambo's been pumping a lot of roaches out and he's also got that defender's advantage. So this isn't going to go too well for Rico if he pushes through now, as he sees. Just pulls back and goes, yep, that is a lot of roaches. I don't want to try and take it. Also that positioning on the ramp, Lambo would have had a much better trade. So both players falling back, being a bit more defensive. Lambo's over here backing on out of there, confirms that the third is definitely down and also takes a quick peek at how many gases there are. Lambo up by a gas but he's only got four workers in gas on his third base. So only a fractional increase in gas per minute, needs more minerals if possible. Roach counts on both sides quickly rocketing up. Both are 38 for the moment, but Lambo will take a lead with that next wave coming through. Meanwhile, 2 2 upgrades getting started on both sides. Lambo is a fair way away on this. He's also had uh, one of the evolution chambers blocked by a contaminate. That's a nice little win for Rico as well. Delaying these upgrades and these double upgrades is especially important, and it's surprisingly easy especially with the timing of that contaminate to catch your opponent off and they'll go to start they'll just instantly hit the hockey go okay let's start up missile attack carapace boom and then forget but Lambo he's not gonna fall for that he starts up that plus two carapace although it has had a big delay to it it's roughly about a minute later than he wanted to have it and Rico's already ahead by around a minute so that gives him a good period of time where he's going to have 2-2 up against 1-1 roaches. And that will make a considerable difference in any trades these two get coming down. No sign of a fourth base yet, but Lambo going to be the first to take that in the top left. Pushing forward. This is slightly easier to defend for Zerg because it's backed away. If Rico actually tries to push up here, he's going to run into some problems. Whereas this is a much more open base with many avenues through. Could actually split Lambo apart. Rico though getting ready to go forward. His 2-2 upgrades about to kick in. Two seconds away from completing. A queen was sniped off there. Rico now with 2-2. Up against the... Or soon to be 2-2. Wait for three seconds. Up against the 1-1 one, one of Lambo. That mean any roach trades would be super effective for Rico. Who's actually playing a very bold move and taking the forward gold base here. As opposed to taking the safer blue base. This poses... A problem for Lambo because if he allows it to stay, Rico is going to be able to mine fractionally more minerals from that base than he Lambo will from the top left. But more importantly, will be able to do so with less drones. 
Because while you get more minerals per trip, there's less mineral patches there to level it out slightly. And that means you need less drones to get the same income, freeing up more supply for Rico's army, which means that overall army supply will favour Rico. Both players adding in a couple of Hydralisks to their composition too. And this is always going to be the same. Roach Hydra, a very strong composition, especially after the Hydra attack speed buff. They just dish out even more damage per second than they did before. But just as we've seen in every other game, Rico preparing this little Roach hit squad to go and harass into the 4th and 3rd bases, where for the moment, there isn't any form of defence. Spine Crawlers have been repositioned. There's also one, two, three outside the third natural base, but Rico should be about to get a kill on that hatchery, but Lambo is looking to take out the fourth as well, and a good chunk of the army. The Spine Call is trying to get into this fight. Both players on 2-2 at the moment. It's going to be a very close call. Lambo with a fractionally better engagement angle, but of course Rico with the Spine Caller gives him a bit of a defender's advantage. Both players adding in a huge amount more in terms of the overall roach count. But Rico getting some good damage down. He's aiming for the third base. Left the fourth for the moment. He loses his own fourth. Takes out Lambo's third. And is now going to back away to the fourth that he's already loosened up a bit. However, Lambo, he's got an overseer there. It's going to come down. If Rico's able to snipe out this hatch, he's microing back. Stutter stepping through to maximize the amount of damage time he can get. Will get the fourth base. And that gives Rico a solid base advantage. Despite losing his own fourth. A big win there for Johnny Rico. Who's continuing on his pressure. Going to be trying to get some more damage down. And he knows that he's now a base up. And that's a huge win for him. The main base of Lambo is nearly mined down. As it is for Rico. But Rico with this third. Lambo having to rebuild his. He's got her production. And he's got her income. Rico's going to remake his fourth. As Lambo's remaking his third. Lambo needs to retake his fourth base as well. But Roach is burrowed at the back. And that could come in. And just get a couple of shots of damage down. These three defensive spines certainly going to help. Johnny Rico finally trying to catch this army. Lambo being ultra aggressive for the moment. The spine coolers melt. The overall army supplies relatively equal, but favoring Lambo after a quick resupply. The actual engaging forces massively favoring Lambo, though. He knows Rico has invested a lot, and he's also getting counter attacking. So these roaches aren't actually in the main engagement. Lambo has got significantly more forces here. This means Rico has to pull drones to trade. Reinforcing advantage is there for Rico. This is all going to probably come down to this fight. If Lambo can gain enough traction here to deal with some good damage. Rico attempting to buy as much time as possible to get more reinforcements through. But he just doesn't have anything here. The hatchery is going to be looking vulnerable. But the natural of Lambo has now died. These counter-attacking roaches getting some great damage down. Both players down to round 30. Drones. Everything. Neck and neck still. No defensive forces in yet for Lambo. He's putting everything into this push. It's almost a base race now, but losing the Roach one could be devastating to Rico. He doesn't really have much else there. He has taken out a lot of Lambo's drones, but just the standing army is massively larger for Lambo at the moment. This was a great decision by Lambo. And Rico, I just don't see how he can get out enough to defend this. He's doing everything possible. The drones fighting, the roaches fighting. But just look at the army supply, 82 to 14. This counter-attacking roach style is just too strong. And Lambo comes back to take this series 2 and 1. And advances through to the finals, guaranteeing himself at least 25 euros and potentially 50 euros and a spot in the monthly finals. So congratulations to him.